So now we're going to talk about von Hippel-Lindau disease. And basically what happens is that you have a deletion on chromosome 3. Okay? And it's a deletion on chromosome 3, and you have this VHL gene, which is a tumor suppressor gene. Um, and when you have deletion on the tumor suppressor gene, then you get growth of tumors. And specifically in this one, it's a, an activation of angiogenic growth factors, uh, which promote uh, blood vessel a growth into a tumor. Um, so basically what you see in von Hippel-Lindau is you see hemangioblastomas of retina, cerebellum, back there, <laughs> and medulla. Um, so brainstem, behind the brainstem, and the retina, um, all part of the central nervous system. Um, and then in about half of, so that, so that's criteria number one. And in about half of the people, which obviously they're going to mention, uh, in the test, you're going to get bilateral, so wait, so you get hemangioblastomas, um, and then you get bilateral renal cell carcinoma. Okay. Um, and basically this all happens because you're getting suppressor of a tumor, so you get outgrowth of tumor here. Um, so what you were to remember is mangioblastoma, bilateral renal cell carcinoma on 3P, um, and you can think about von Hippel-Lindau has three words, three letters, chromosome 3, and that it's a tumor suppressor gene. Um, and this is the clinical scenario. Uh, you, uh, let's say you have a 50-year-old patient with renal mass. Um, it, can be bi it can be bilateral or unilateral, um, but basically if you pair it with a mangioblastoma, or say that it's on chromosome 3P, or that it's a tumor suppressor gene uh, that leads to angiogenesis, um, it's basically going to be von Hippel-Lindau. Um, so, so let's uh, review. Uh, renal mass um, in about half of the patients, mangioblastomas of the retina, so your eyes, your cerebellum, and your medulla. Uh, I know it's a poorly drawn thing, kind of looks like a face. Um, and then bilateral kidneys. Wow, looks like a girl. Goodbye. Okay,